Hi, I'm Ryan Balanji, and welcome to LPGA Cam this week, presented by Nike Golf. Uh, earlier in the week, I had an opportunity to speak with Suzanne Pedersen as she prepares to win her second major championship at a place where she's had close calls before, the Kraft Nabisco. I know, I've come closer a couple of times. So, um, I've put in a lot of hard work uh, over the winter, and uh, this course should really suit my game. Uh, I feel great with my driver, and uh, the rough is really up this year. So uh, I think even if you have to hit some three woods off the fairway just to hit, hit in the short stuff, I think you're better off. Um, and if you get the putter rolling, uh, I think uh, I think this could be a very good course for me. Uh, usually all courses suit me, but this is particular one I played well on before and. Uh, coming in, uh, having had a few hours with Lepera this morning, I feel a lot better with my game. And, uh, I can kind of focus on where it needs to be focused for the next couple. Um, tell us a little bit about the kind of interesting setup you have going on with your Fairway Woods versus your driver. You have the VR Straight Fit this year in the bag as your driver right now. You have a couple of SQ Dymos as your uh, your Fairway Woods. What's what's the difference playing a driver that's more traditionally shaped versus kind of Fairway Woods that are more square shaped? You know what, uh, I've, I've, when you start playing a lot of golf, uh, I don't really look at the clubs now anymore and think, oh, they, that looks different from my driver. Uh, I think you adapt fairly quickly uh, as you go along. And uh, uh, I love my driver. I have the VR uh, three woods to be um, tested uh, at home. Like I said, I should have done that when during the time I had off between uh, Asia and here, but I didn't really have much time. so. It's the next uh, next thing on the schedule is to try those out and see if uh, it can match what I already have or even come out even better. Okay, other than yourself, who would you name as a favorite this week? Uh, I think Michelle. Yeah. Great ball striker. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you can't really not say Lorena, but uh, she hasn't played that great this year, and uh, she's struggled with her driver, and I think, like I said this week, uh, you've got to hit the fairway, and you've got to be able to shape shots around this place. And the longer you hit it, the better off uh, you will be, so uh, long and straight would be great, and there's a few of those out there. Do you see any kind of difference in the scoring this year as opposed to other years? Like you said, the rough being up, I mean, the fairway is a little, a little harder, a little bit faster? The rough is up, and uh, I played this morning. Uh, I mean, a little bit uh, surprised that early Monday morning the greens were really firm. Uh, so uh, that's going to make it even more challenging and kind of benefit uh, people who can strike the ball. So I think... Staying around par this week is going to get you a long way. All right, shift. Sometimes, sometimes at this course, you can you see some players get to like double figures, eight, nine on the par. I mean, if you can shoot, I would take eight under and sit in the clubhouse and wait. If that was me right now, I mean, that's two under a day. Yeah. Uh, so I think, I mean, anything par or better each day is pretty good. Okay. All right, shifting gears a little bit away from golf. What are you playing most on your iPod right now? Uh, right now, I've gone back to Coldplay quite a bit recently. Yeah? Yeah. How come? I just love that group. Great yeah. music. That's one of the best songs ever. They do. I'm out. They're popular in mine. Good energy. Yeah. All right. On Twitter, who do you like to follow most? Uh, other athletes. Yeah. All the athletes that I follow, it's always interesting to see what they're up to, what they're doing. Serena, she's a huge Twitter. She Twitters all the time. Yeah. Uh, almost too much for me. <laughs> I'm 
maybe possibly block. 